Hi everyone. How are you doing today? So it is Tuesday. It's time for another Facebook Live. So I hope you are joining me. We have a few minutes to let people join and then will I look for my will I get it all set up next to me. I hope you guys are having a good day. We are it is a cloudy day here. We don't get a lot of cloudy days in New Mexico. So when we do, it's kind of unusual. Last night it was raining and we <laughs> we get rain so infrequently that my husband and I actually had to mute our show that we were watching and and go see if what we were hearing was actually rain because we never get rain. We never hear it. So we were confused about what that noise was. <laughs> but um, and I think we may get some more rain today. There was a lot of clouds rolling in when I was picking up my daughter a few minutes ago. So I think we may get some more rain, which will be fun. So, hey, Kathy. So um, welcome to another Facebook Live. So um, before we get into the project, I have a really, really cute project to show you today. And we're going to use the Stamparatus, which I love. But before we do that, I want to talk about all our sales. We are in a new month. We are in October. It's a new month. We have so many things going on this month, especially this week. So the first is um, our World Card Making Day. These sales are only good for a week, though, you guys. October 7th. It's only till Sunday. So if you're going to order any of these, make sure you get them this week. You can order today. And um, there are some really great things on here. I especially want to point out the kits. They have, I think, four different kits on here. But the kits that they have are fantastic, and they're all-inclusive kits, which means they come with the stamp set, they come with a little ink spot, so they make fantastic gifts, or they make just great things to take on road trips, or um, to a retreat or something. They have, so this one, the one, the Notes of Kindness, which I love, and I may actually get this one. I love this one. And then there's the Soft Sayings Kit, which I have put together. And I love it. I love those little gold glitter pieces. It's fantastic. And there's so many cards in this kit. Um, the Lots of Happy Card Kit, I believe. Yeah, that's on there too. And this one you get watercolor pencils. And it's a phenomenal kit. I really want to get this one too. I may end up just getting all these kits for, um, for during the sale. And I mean, they all include the stamp set. So they are perfect gifts for your crafting friends. They're perfect. Um, and then the um, other kit was the Callig Calligraphy Essentials Kit. It doesn't include the stamp set, but the stamp set is on sale also. So you can get them both on the sale price, which is fantastic. And other things that are on there are dimensionals and tear tape and um, the note cards, which I use all the time. So there are a ton of great things on here. So make sure you check out the sales. Remember, they're only good through Sunday. You don't want to miss it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is our Stamparatus accessories that are now available. So you can get extra plates, you can get extra magnets, you can get the extra foam mats, you can get it all. Plus, we have grid paper, and I showed this last week. I'm trying to pull mine out. We're going to use some today. But we have grid paper now. So I am so excited about the grid paper. It was what I was hoping for. So you can order all of these now. There's no time limit to get them. They are now available and they will continue to be available. So get your Stamparatus accessories. So in addition to all those things that you're going to want to order, make sure you go to my website to order. Use this hostess code. If your order is over $50, I'm going to send you a package of the red rhinestones. And these are so beautiful in person. They are so shiny and they are going to add such amazing um, texture and shine to any of your Christmas cards this year and I think they're gonna be really great for Valentine's Day too they're nice and red so if your order is over $50 I'm gonna send you a package of these for free if your order is over 150 don't use the hostess code you'll get the hostess benefits but I will still send you a package of the rhinestones for free along with a fun card so if you are placing an order make sure you use the hostess code you have to use the hostess code to get the free gift um, just a couple more things and then we're going to get to our project, I promise. So one more thing, if you like the video, please share this with your friends. I always love it when people share. It. Um, I love reaching out to new crafty people. So if you like the video, please share it. The other thing, the last thing that I want to talk to you about is my class to go. And I put a link to my class to go to my blog link 
in the description of the video. And this month, for my class to go, you get two stamp sets. You're gonna get the Around the Corner stamp set along with the Making Everyday Bright stamp set. And I don't remember exactly how much my class to go was. Um, that's on my blog link. Don't worry, you can click on the blog link. With the class to go though, you get the stamp sets and the supplies to make three cards. And the cards this month are really cute. They are, they're some of the cutest I've ever made, so I love them. Um, there's three options for the class to go. You can get the everything kit, which includes the two stamp sets, all the supplies for the cards, and the PDF on how to assemble the cards. Um, the second option is just the supplies for the cards and the PDF. So if you already have these stamp sets, but you still want the supplies to make the cards and the PDF, that is the second option. And the third option is the PDF only, which I will email to you. And my team members get the PDF for free every month. So that is another benefit of joining my team. So this is this month's class to go kit. You get making every day bright and around the corner. And we're actually using this little tiny heart on today's card. So just another little reason to have this stamp set. There's so many little pieces in here. I just love it. So let's get to today's card. I'm going to show you the card that we're going to make um, while we're using our Stamparatus. So this is what we're going to make. I love this card. I played with this over the weekend. Um, I did like a rainbow theme. We're going to use the same colors today. And I embossed this on vellum. I've already pre-stamped the greeting, but I didn't emboss it. I just used some stays on on some vellum. And I like, I like both looks. So you can do either one. And we're going to do the Stamparatus and line up all of these circles perfectly. Now, if you are wondering where that circle came from, let me, so I had to plug in my computer. It was like, I'm running out of battery. So I had to plug that in real quick. But the circle is actually from this bike ride stamp set. It is this little circle down here, just the perfect little circle. And I believe this is supposed to go on the inside of the tire for the metal part of the tire. I'm not sure, but I, I love this stamp set. I've used it a ton. And so we're just, but the only part we're using is just this little circle right here. And then I told you we're using the heart from the Making Everyday Bright stamp set. And the greeting is from this stamp set. This is Sunny Days, and it's we're using this greeting. You can do hard things, which I think is such a beautiful, encouraging sentiment. So those are the three stamp sets that we're using. And of course, our Stamparatus. So if you don't have a Stamparatus, you are going to want a Stamparatus. It is an amazing tool. And I already have my stamp on here. Let me get a... stamp set here to put under there. It makes it flat. It's just a fun little tip. It makes your stamp right as flat. So I already have this on here and I already have my paper on here. This is a piece of white which is three and three fourths by five. And so we're going to start in our rainbow order. So I have all my ink pads here. So we're going to start with Poppy Parade. And we are never going to move this. This is going to stay here for our whole stamping. And I promise this is gonna go really fast. You're like, oh my gosh, she's gonna use five colors and we're gonna stamp that circle so many times. But I promise this is gonna go so fast. So I've inked that up with Poppy Parade. I'm gonna close it and stamp it. And then I'm just gonna lift it up and move it down one. I'm gonna ink it up and close it. Lift it up and move it down. Because of all these hinges, we're able to continue to move it down and it is perfectly spaced on the card. Isn't that such a cool technique? I think the hinge step is one of my absolute favorite techniques and it really sets our stamp positioner apart from any other on the market. So you can see I'm just stamping and moving it down every time. So now we're done with the red. I'm gonna go all the way back to the top. We're done with the poppy parade. I'm gonna close up that ink. I'm gonna pull out my Simply Chamois and it is well loved, you guys. This is a well loved chamois. And I'm just gonna clean that off. And your chamois will get nice and stained like this, but it will still clean perfectly. It is a fantastic, fantastic tool. So I'm gonna remove my magnets, and all I'm gonna do is move up my card one inch. So all these black lines here, these are all one inch lines. So I'm just gonna move it up one square here. And we're gonna put our magnets back. And I'm going to move on to Mango Melody now. And I never moved that stamp. We're going to do it again. Use Mango Melody and stamp it. And you'll see it's in the same exact spot. We're going to move it down. 
Take it out, move it down. You can see how fast this is going. This is a very quick card. And now with our grid paper too, it's so easy to do this and line stuff up. And our um, the Stamp Artist base does actually have lines, but you can see I'm going off the page here. And I don't like to get ink on the base of my Stamparatus. I normally don't mind ink anywhere, but the base of my Stamparatus just makes me crazy for some reason. So we're done with the Mango Melody. I'm gonna move that up. I'm gonna clean off my plate, my stamp. And okay, we're gonna close our Mango Melody. And we're gonna get out Pineapple Punch. And that's our next color. And we're just gonna move it one more square this way. And make sure this is nice and straight. You don't need two magnets to hold this. This will stay in place with one magnet, but I just want to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And again, we're just going to go through and lift it up, move it down. So this is such a fun technique. I love the hinge step. So this works really well with any stamp that's about an inch, an inch tall, or in this case, an inch in diameter. diameter. So you can do this with words. You can do this with any kind of background or greeting. You can do it with anything, really. So that is it. We're moving right along. We're done with the pineapple punch. We only have two colors left. I'm just going to wipe that off. Simply Chamois is perfect for this. And we're just going to move this down one more. One more square. It's over here. And we're going to move on to Coastal Cabana, which is my all-time favorite. So glad this color is back. So if you guys, um, oops, hinge step down. If you guys didn't see my post, I think a couple weeks ago or last week, I am slowly moving all of my Facebook Lives onto YouTube. So you can find me on YouTube at Ruth's Stamping Corner, Stamping Corner, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I am slowly putting all of my Facebook Lives onto YouTube. And I will put this one on YouTube later today. So you can refer back to it on YouTube. It's just an easier way to find all my videos than to have to um, scroll through Facebook. Because, you know, once, if you're looking for a video I did, like a month ago on Facebook. I mean, it's just, Facebook is sometimes a hot mess. So, oops, let me make sure that stays down. It kind of came up a little bit, but put it back down exactly where it was. Now we're gonna move this over, but as you can see, we're out of room here. So we're gonna move it over to the next line here. Does that make sense? So it was on this line right here, so we're just moving it over another inch, following those grid lines on our new grid paper. And our final color is Gorgeous Grape. So um, anyway, so you can go to YouTube and refer back to, I think I have five or six of them on now. I put on another two today, and then I'll put this one on this afternoon. So but you can keep checking my YouTube channel or subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you can keep referring back to any of my Facebook Lives. will be a much easier place once they're all together one way to find all my videos so and they all link to my blog as well so the the blog post where all of these are on my blog so you can find them all there too so that is it that is our beautiful background with the hinge step technique you can see how quick and easy that was and you could use the circle too when I was doing this I thought Wow, that would make like great Olympic rings. So if you know somebody who maybe is an Olympian or a special Olympian or any of those things, just loves the Olympics, you can use this circle to make some fun Olympic stuff. So we're gonna put it away our stamp for now. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna finish up the rest of our card. So I have my card here. I'm gonna get all my ink pads back out again because I want to add some little hearts to my card. I'm going to move this one over so we know what we're making. I want to add some little hearts to my card. 
So I'm going to open up all my ink pads. And our new ink pad design, I'm going to know exactly what color they are because they're all lined on the bottom, which is fantastic. So, and last one. I normally don't like to have ink pads open like this because I will for sure make a mess, but we're going to we're gonna hope that's not the case today. I'm actually going to get my grid paper out because I want to put some of those hearts off the paper. I don't want to get it on my mat, so I'm going to get my grid paper out. We'll use the other side. So like I said, this heart is from the Making Everyday Bright stamp set. And I'm just going to add a couple hearts kind of near the same color. Some of them are going to overlap. The Poppy Parade is overlapping into the Mango Melody, which is fine. i my Simply Chamois again. Just gonna clean that off and move on to the mango melody and we're just gonna add a couple hearts here and there just really minimal just this just adds a little bit of extra love here so make sure that's clean perfect I love the chamois I really really wasn't sure I was going to but I really really love our chamois so if you're debating about it I love it it does get stained so if that bothers you um, just be aware it will be stained but it works phenomenal and I just rinse it out when I'm done and it just stays wet so and then a couple purple hearts okay so that's it that's it we're just gonna add a few hearts and I told you earlier that I pre-stamped that greeting just because I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take on the stamparatus and I didn't want you guys here all day but we are gonna close up all these ink pads before I a real mess. So. Do you guys have that problem too if you leave ink pads out? Do you just make a mess? I'm forever either dropping something in them or putting my whole hand in there. It's just a hot mess. So we're going to pull in the rest of our card bits here. So I have my greeting on vellum. I used vellum because I didn't want to cover up any of this beautiful background that we used. And then I have a pineapple punch card base that is eight and a half no yes eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter I had to think about that for a minute and then this is I have some kind of wonky measurements I have them by the eighths so this is five and three eighths by four and one eighths so we have five five and three eighths by four and one eighth just because I wanted a very slight border on that and then this one is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. So we have five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. And that's gonna give another just very slim border on our white paper. Okay, so let's put our greeting on first. So I'm gonna grab my snail. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna end up trimming some of the ends, but I'm gonna line this up where I want it, where it's nice and straight. I think it looks nice and straight and then I'm just gonna fold this over to the back and I'm gonna fold this one over to the back and we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna glue that down and then I'm gonna glue this one down and I'm gonna trim this end off here it's a little long I'm gonna trim that off and then we're just gonna put this whole thing onto our coastal cabana piece That small margin of a border there. So perfect. And we're gonna put our gorgeous great piece on our base. I'm using lots of snail guys. That's okay because I can always buy more. So I'm gonna put that on our card base here. It just gives the slimmest little margin there which I just love. And then we're gonna pop this one up with dimensionals. So Let's get some dimensionals on here. Dimensionals are part of that World Card Making Day sale, so if you need to stock up on dimensionals, this is the perfect week to do it because you can save 10% on them, which is a great deal. I buy dimensionals in massive amounts because I go through so many. I think just this week I've already been through an entire package and we're only on Tuesday, so. So there is um, our card, but we're going to add one more thing. So 
So I have the Santa enamel dots here. And we're going to add these little circle shapes here. And I love that. And so it's just going to add just a little bit of texture. It just adds a tiny bit of... What am I... What's the word I'm searching for? It just adds a little bit to the card. So I'm using my pickup tool. I'm going to switch it to the paper piercer side. So let's, if you haven't seen this tool, this is in our the holiday catalog and I love it. This side, oh, I just ripped that off. So this side, let me screw that on. There we go. This side has like a putty end to pick up little small pieces of paper or sequins or any little thing you want to add to your card. And you just twist it and the putty continues to come out. You just keep twisting it and the putty will come out. This side has a paper piercer. You can unlock it and flip it over to the spatula side, which and the spatula is great for like big embellishments, big rhinestones or something. But I'm going to put it on the paper piercer side. But this side also comes with, let me see if I can get it out here. This side also comes with a stylus tool. So you can take this out completely and put in your stylus tool and you're ready to score cardstock or DSP. And there's two different sizes of styluses on here. So you have a bigger side and a smaller side. But we're going to put in our paper piercer. So this is a fantastic tool. I think it's only $10 in the holiday catalog. So it is well worth it. So I'm going to use my little paper piercer tool, pick up these little tiny Santa's workshop dots, and I'm just going to add a few here. I think I'm going to do five. I like to add embellishments in odd numbers. I'm kind of kind of odd like that. But I think it's more pleasing to the eye if they're in odd numbers. I don't know why, but it just works. So there we go. So it just adds a little bit, and I know it's hard to see on the camera, but in person it's a lot of fun texture. So here are the two cards. Here's the one we made today. And the only difference is this one has black heat embossing on the vellum and this one I just stamped with stays on. So they're both fantastic cards and really quick and easy with our Stamparatus. So I hope that you like this video. If you do, please remember to share it and you can head to my website and purchase any of these products. And if you use the hostess code and your order is over $50, I'm going to send you the red rhinestones for free. Um, otherwise, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to answer them. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will, I will see you guys next week. Thanks.